Libya, also known as Dalat Libya. A pretty nice country if I do say so myself. It's almost exactly like the US. Except, it's in Africa. Okay, that was a bad metaphor. So let's start. Libya, a country in Africa, surrounded by Tanzania, Algeria, Niger, Chad, Egypt, and the Meridian Sea. It's seven hours ahead of our time zone, and its name origin is still undecided amongst the community. Besides that, the entire country is around 97% Sunni Muslim and 3% Christian. Speaking of food, Libyans mainly eat meat products. Turn away if you don't want to see dead animals. Yeah, sad, isn't it? Also, did you know that alcohol is illegal? So, it looks like there are many contaminated cuts in Libya. What's that I hear? Where's all the vegetables? Well, fear not, because Libya is mostly a desert wasteland. They have crops imported to them. They export oils and gases. Speaking of social classes, most of the country is upper middle class. A very small percent of the country is middle class, and an even smaller amount is lower middle class. That's why most of the kids and men wear modern day clothes, such as t-shirts and jeans. However, the women have to wear habibs. The shelters they live in are more or less the same as modern ones, with a roof, a sturdy floor, and walls. Wait, not that. Not that either. Ah, that's better. Obligatory Undertale references aside, here's the real deal. In fact, their society is so close to ours that their presidential voting system is the same. It's simple. If you're 18 or older, you can vote. No cent paid. As of now, Fayez al-Sarraj is ruling over Libya. To add on to that, their advancement in technology is catching up too, as most households have access to electricity, devices, and search engines. With this technology, one man was able to create something called an Ivan, a device made to help blind people navigate their surroundings. Sadly, I lost the article I found this on. Never mind. Speaking of music, the Libyans create a music that's a mix of traditional and European pop. The instruments they use are the Dud, Zakra, Darbuku, and the Alne. Translated, these are the lute, bagpipes, drum, and bamboo pipe. Speaking of, wait, I need a transition. Uh, pandas eat bamboo. Uh, panda starts with P. P is the 16th letter of the alphabet. 16 starts with an S. Soup also starts with an S. Aha! That's the perfect transition. Speaking of soup, most Libyans like to play soccer. The other people that don't probably play volleyball or basketball. These activities are so common, most Libyans refer to these sports as traditions. Celebrated on the following holidays. Revolution Day on February 17th, Labor Day on May 1st, Martyrs Day on September 16th, and Independence Day on December 24th. 